हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू बैंक एग्जाम स्टडी डॉट कॉम माई नेम इज रमनदीप सिंह सो स्टूडेंट सेक्शन वन थर्टी एट ऑफ नेगोशियबल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एक्ट सो आई एम मेकिंग अ डेडिकेटेड वीडियो ऑन दिस एक डेडिकेटेड वीडियो कर रहा हूँ सेक्शन वन थर्टी एट पे वाई बिक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन एवरी ईयर आई सी वन और टू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक सो आई थॉट वाई नॉट टू टीच दिस ऑन अ सेपरेट वीडियो सो हार्डली सेवन एट मिनट्स लगेंगे इसको सो गिव इट अ लुक माई नेम इज़ रमनदीप सिंह एंड आई बिन टीचिंग ऑन बैंक एग्जाम थोड़े फ्राम लास्ट ट्वेल्व ईयर्स एंड दिस इज़ माई व्हाट्सएप नंबर एंड यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट मी एनी टाइम एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड आई बी पी एस आर आर बी जी बी ओ स्केल टू एंड स्केल थ्री कॉर्स वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग वीडियो क्लासेज नो मोट्स टेस्ट सीरीज कंप्लीट सिलेबस कवरेज इन द कॉर्स लिंक इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन द मोबाइल एप्स आर अवेलेबल ऑन गूगल प्ले एंड एंड्रॉड आई ओ एस एंड्रॉड एंड आई ओ एस सब्जेक्ट अवेलेबल है सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन सो नेगोशियबल इंस्ट्रूमेंट एक्ट एटीन एट्टी वन डील्स विद प्रोमिजरी नोट्स प्रोमिजरी नोट्स बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज एंड चेक्स सो आई होप बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग होनी चाहिए आपको हाउ इट वर्कस द सेकेंड थिंग द सेक्शन वन थर्टी एट इंट्रोड्यूस्ड एज अ क्रिमिनल अफेंस इट नाइनटीन एट्टी नाइन में इंट्रोड्यूस हुआ था जिसने क्रिमिनलाइज कर दिया जो सी वेन द पर्सन ए गिव्स अ चेक टू पर्सन बी पर्सन ए गिव्स अ चेक टू पर्सन बी एंड वेन द पर्सन बी वेंट टू द बैंक to in cash that check that check bounced wo check ho gaya bounce check ho gaya bounce why because of insufficient balance because of in sufficient balance ki wajah se bounce ho gaya and then uh, jo hai 2 saal ki saza ho sakti hai aur fine lag sakta hai the fine which is double the amount of check theek hai so ye section 138 hai negotiable instrument act ka चेक बाउंस होना दिस इज अ क्रिमिनल अफेंस सो इट इज अ क्रिमिनल अफेंस बाउंसिंग ऑफ चेक्स इट्स एन क्रिमिनल अफेंस द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव वट वॉज द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव टू एनकरेज द यूज ऑफ चेक्स एंड इंक्रीज द क्रेडिबिलिटी ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन थ्रू चेक्स सो इन यू नो नाइनटीन एटी नाइन नाइनटीन नाइनटीज चेक्स वर वेरी पॉपुलर नाउ डेज देर आर ऑनलाइन ट्रांजेक्शन डिजिटल ट्रांजेक्शन बट बैक इन बैक इन नाइनटीन नाइनटीज चेक्स वर वेरी पॉपुलर and the government wanted the people uh, to make more use of banking channels so that tax can be collected okay to make the economy formal nowadays the government wants the people to use digital methods <clears throat> make less use of cash if more cash is used there will be uh, black money in the economy okay so what is bouncing of check a ne b ko check diya b bank ke paas gaya paise lene cash karwane और वो चेक बाउंस हो गया ड्यू टू इनसफिशिएंट बैलेंस तो वो एक क्रिमिनल ऑफेंस है ठीक है सो so बी क्या करेगा सो uh, so ये चेक बाउंस होने के विद इन थर्टी डेज ये चेक बाउंस होने के विद इन थर्टी डेज जब बी को पता चल गया चेक बाउंस हो गया आफ्टर गेटिंग इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द बैंक दैट द चेक हैज बिन बाउंसड विद इन थर्टी डेज बी नीज टू सेंड अ नोटिस टू ए वी बी वुड गेट गिव अ फिफ्टीन डेज नोटिस टू ए 15 days notice to A that give my money. Your check has been bounced. Give my money back. Okay, 15 days notice. So if A does not return the money within 15 days, now B has 30 days. Again, B has another 30 days to file the case against A in the courts. Okay, now the section 138 would be applicable. Two years of imprisonment and double the fine. Fine up to twice the amount of check and B. Uh, imposed on the on the person A. So this is section one thirty eight. Okay. So what is the disowner? Uh, a person A gave a check to person B of let's say rupees ten thousand rupees. Okay. Uh, and B went to HDFC or whatever bank. Okay. Uh, and then the bank said there is insufficient uh, balance. The bank said there is insufficient balance, and we are uh, the check has been bounced. Please note that the reason should be insufficient balance or exceeding the arranged limit. C C ki limit se zada hai. If the check has been uh, returned because it was stale, there are so many reasons because a check can be returned. If a check is stale, check stale ho gaya, purana ho gaya. obviously the bank is going to bounce that check or uh, is going to return the check if there is signature mismatch sign mismatch ho gaye signature mismatch then section 138 won't be applicable if the check is mutilated 
if the check is uh, torn or mutilated then obviously this uh, this section won't be applicable the bank may return is the check is mutilated okay in such cases uh, this particular uh, you know act won't be applicable section 138 won't be applicable so section 138 of the act states if a person draws a check on account maintained by him with the banker for payment of any amount of money to another person out of that account for the discharge in case that the check bounces because of insufficient balance or exceeding the arrangement limits then section 138 would be applicable what is the punishment two years two years or the fine uh, or with the fine which may extend twice the amount of the check or both or with both do no be ho sakte fine bhi lag sakta hai aur imprisonment bhi ho sakti hai do saal ki aur do no bhi ho sakte hain theek hai the conditions of persecutions what are the conditions let me just hide myself the check should be presented to the bank within 3 months from the date uh, from the date uh, from which it was drawn 3 mahine ke andar andar otherwise the check would be uh, stale or uh, <clears throat> uh, 3 months is a period of validity of rbi's notification within 3 months okay otherwise it would be a stale check you need to notice ki uh, check ki date ke within 3 months you have to uh, you know uh, give the check to the bank for the for the encashment otherwise three months baad wo stale check ho jayega. after the presentation of the check by the pay the check should be uh, should be returned unpaid by bank due to insufficiency of funds um, see as I already told you the another condition is ki insufficiency of the fund is the reason check mismatch you try to change the amounts you try to change any any information on the check then the check can be returned <clears throat> after the disowner of the check uh, the pay is going to send 15 days notice 15 days notice is going to uh, the pay is going to send 15 days notice uh, the bank will send a memo to the pay informing the disowner of the check and the pay is to send notice within 13 days he will send a 15 days notice so please note down the timing so a gave a check to b okay a gave a check to b and the check has been bounced okay now b is going to send a 15 days notice 15 days notice b uh, a gave a check to b b bank ke pass gaya and hdfc bank ne bol diya that the check has been bounced within 30 days within 30 days of getting the information that the check has been bounced the B needs to send the notice 15 days notice to A. So A ko 15 days ka notice mil gaya. If A is not making the payment within 15 days, now after the 15 days period has been over, now B has 30 days period according to Limitation Act. Within this 30 days, the B is going to initiate the uh, the action against A. Otherwise, aapke sare rights, you will you lose the rights. Okay, if the drawer of the check fails to make the payment within 15 days from the receipt of notice the offense will be made uh, under section 138 after the 15 days the offense would be made okay so please remember hdfc ne b ko diya 30 days ka time hai b ne 15 days ka notice diya after 15 days b ke baad 30 days hai under limitation act okay so please note that so very important MCQs, the maximum period under which a check, a check must be presented it's three months because after that the check would be a stale check okay what is the maximum period within which a notice must be given a notice must be given uh, to the drawer after receiving the information from the bank regarding the disowner okay so that is 30 days bank se notice mil gaya pay ko within 30 days he needs to send the 15 days notice okay the maximum period within which the drawer must make the payment after receiving the notice 15 days ka notice aata hai theek hai जिसने चेक काटा है उसको 15 दिन का नोटिस आता है ठीक है उसको 15 दिन के अंदर अंदर पेमेंट करनी है अदरवाइज द जो विद इन 30 डेज द पे इज गोइंग टू इनिशिएट द एक्शन अंडर सेक्शन 138 ऑफ नेगोशिएबल इंस्ट्रूमेंट एक्ट द मिनिमम अमाउंट ऑफ चेक देयर इज नो सच मिनिमम अमाउंट देयर इज नो मिनिमम अमाउंट इवन फॉर 500 और 1000 रुपी द पर्सन कैन टेक द एक्शन ओके द पे ही कैन टेक द एक्शन व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डेट और लायबिलिटी अंडर सेक्शन 38 so the debt or liability it should be for a legal thing check you dia there should be a legal reason for taking uh, that uh, you know check check liya hi kyun hai reason kya hai 
सो इट शुड बी अ लीगली इन्फोर्सबल डेट और लाइबिलिटी देर शुड बी अ लीगली इन्फोर्सबल डेट देर आर टू पार्टनर्स बिकॉज ऑफ दैट देर इज अ चेक अ सैलरी चेक कुड बी देयर सो दैट इज अ लीगली इन्फोर्सबल लाइबिलिटी अदरवाइज इफ देर इज नो रीजन वाई यू हैव टेकन द चेक देन इट इज नॉट इन्फोर्सबल राइट वट इज द मोड ऑफ सर्विस वट इज द मोड ऑफ सर्विस ऑफ नोटिस अंडर वन सेक्शन अंडर सेक्शन वन थर्टी एट so uh, if you have proof registered post or the speed post or the courier courier service with uh, proof of delivery with any of that i mean uh, that is acceptable under section 138 what is the limitation period for filing a complaint under section 138 so 30 days from the expiry of notice period 15 din ka notice period jab expire ho jata hai 15 days notice period is expired then you get 30 days to file the case okay so within that period you have to file the case otherwise aapke paas koi right bachta nahi hai fir theek hai so students that's all i as i told you ki 10 11 minute mein hum kar lenge we we did that ibps rrb scale to one scale three course is available on bankexamstudy.com this is my whatsapp number and we have apps on google uh, play and app store ios app stores and you can also the access access the course on bankexamstudy.com I hope you understood the today's class and this question under section 38 of Negotiable Instrument Act has been asked in the previous paper. So I hope you have understood this today. Okay, join the course for more videos like this and uh, list of our successful students who took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. All these students who took our courses in Bank of Maharashtra Journalist Officer 2023, 2022, IBP Scale to Scale 3, 2022, 2021. All these students who took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. You can be one of them. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask me. 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 Please ask